This is no longer Donald Trump's White House, but it may still be his Republican Party, depending on who you ask. This idea of moving forward without Donald Trump in the Republican Party is a disaster for the Republican Party. Not all Republicans agree as the GOP grapples with what the former president leaves in his wake. Chaos, controversy and crises like the attack on the Capitol that infuriated many in his party who blame him, including Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. The mob was fed lies. They were provoked by the president and other powerful people. Senate Republicans will get a gut check moment when they vote on whether to convict the former president in his upcoming impeachment trial. And even tacit approval from McConnell could sway enough senators to vote against President Trump. But some allies are making a different argument. Most Americans will never understand why the first thing we're going to do here, potentially, is an impeachment trial of a president that isn't even in office. He's not in office. He's not even in Washington, with the former president decamping for his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. Gone, but he hopes not forgotten. I just want to say goodbye, but hopefully it's not a long-term goodbye. We'll see each other again. President Trump's making clear he has no intention of fading quietly from a spotlight he's sought for years, hinting he could run again. We will be back in some form. Reportedly toying with starting his own political party ahead of 2024. But at this point, it seems unlikely his presence would clear a field that could include his now former number two, Vice President Mike Pence, whose relationship with the president broke down after the Capitol siege and who is widely believed to be planning a run for the White House himself after attending President Biden's inauguration, saying goodbye for now to Washington and making an emotional return to Indiana. It is great to be back home again. Thank you for coming out. So all of this frames what is really one of the biggest questions for the GOP moving forward. Do they end up splintering into multiple parties, the Trump loyalists versus the more establishment conservatives, or do they figure out a way to stay under the same umbrella? Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.